Hi, this is Thundy from Borderwalk.com, and today we'll be doing our gaming review of the uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, which is a Sony uh, PlayStation certified uh, Android powered smartphone. Um, to actually, there are two ways actually going into your games menu. You can actually hit the uh, app tray and go into the games individually, or you can actually slide open the uh, controller bay, and that switches you to this Xperia Play gaming hub where you can. Uh, scroll through the pre-played games you have here um, or you can actually buy more games from the app store which is basically a vcast powered uh, um, gaming store so right now within the system uh, when you buy an Xperia Play you get uh, five games to play on your PlayStation certified phone you get Asphalt 6, Bruce Lee, Crash Bandicoot uh, Madden, Madden NFL uh, 2011, Star Battalion, and Sims 3. So we're taking a look at a couple of these games and uh, looking, taking a good look more at some of them. But let's uh, go ahead and just look at the uh, control setup. Green is touch sensitive, so you can actually there are some games that will use some menus in the, within the screen as some gameplay functionality. You also do have a full D-pad, uh, PlayStation style D-pad, which is separated. You do have your regular PlayStation buttons, your square, circle, X, and uh, triangle buttons. You do have a start and select button. You do have touch sensitive discs that act in place of your analog sticks. And you do have a menu button. And now this button goes to, you um, can use for pause within games as well as your menu settings for the sensitivities for the analog discs. And of course at the rear you do have your L and R um, trigger buttons, uh, shoulder buttons, so you have this for gaming. If you hit the menu button here, it takes you into settings, you can do auto start settings, you can set that up, or within game you can actually set up the sensitivity for your controller. Let's see what games are in the store. So more games, you can see there are a couple more games within the store, you do have Guitar Hero, Dungeon Defender, which is a well-known game. There is Assassin's Creed, which is a high-def game. Modern Combat 2. Uh, I believe there are 50 games in total available within the store. Uh, see if we can download any demos. Some of these games. So let's jump into our first game. We're going to go into jump into Madden NFL 11.
So the Sony Xperia Play is uh, Sony's attempt to create a um, an Android-powered smartphone that um, plays PlayStation games solely and also acts as a cell phone. Um, we haven't gone into in depth into the phone functionality of this phone because this review here it's strictly on gameplay. Uh, the controls work well. The D-pad feels very nice. The circle buttons feel nice. The analog discs, on the other hand, I'm not uh, too fond of them. Uh, they feel a little wonky. They don't really give you that full control of feel that you're actually using an analog stick, so that's something to take note of. Um, a cool thing is it does come with five games. I'm sorry, um, a total of actually six games, uh, plus Tetris, making that seven, although Tetris doesn't use the PlayStation controls here. And um, most of the games do look like PS1 quality games, except a few that uh, look better, like Asphalt 6, which looks like a PS2 game, and Bruce Lee also. Um, but uh, in all, um, like I said, most of the controls are comfortable. Using the L and R buttons a little harder for me. I'm used to a PSP or DS style grip where it's a little wider. So. Um, like a friend mentioned, uh, it would be better if this was a 4-inch screen, which would give it more gaming room space for you to actually grip and hold and control. Because uh, if I have to use the shoulder buttons, I always have to pull back out and press it out there because it, you know, it's very tight, it's very confined. Um, overall, as a gaming phone, it works well uh, to game on. Um, you do have full control. Um, of um, of the game with you know D-pad as well as your regular um, gaming buttons. Uh, it's nice there's a gaming store with you know PlayStation games or at least variants of PlayStation games. So far it looks like they're just uh, mini games in general, but uh, hopefully there'll be more PSN games on there on this uh, on this device. Um, but uh, it's something I hope uh, Sony maybe improves in the future with. Um, Maybe a wider screen and you know uh, more fleshed out uh, button layout overall. But uh, for now, the present Xperia Play um, works well for gaming. Uh, the quality of games that's a different thing entirely. That's based on developers, so I can't really speak much to that. Some games look great, some games look downright terrible. But uh, that's a choice you have to make. But uh, it does feel comfortable and it's something you can use to play periods of time. Um, battery life with gaming actually was uh, been pretty good. Uh, you could see you could have at least a couple of gaming sessions in before your battery actually dies. So uh, it's not as long as what you get with the PSP or uh, Nintendo 3, uh, DS, but you will get a sufficient amount of gaming off the uh, Xperia Play uh, as long as you're not using it as a cell phone. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, any comments, uh, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all Border Work with two O's. And uh, this is Thunder from Border Work saying thank you, and always enjoy entertainment.